Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're going to be watching more of The Walking Dead today. Hi, we are. Hey. Storm here. Mom here. Kimmy here. We are on episode 12 of season five. Yeah. Wow. And you guys are questioning Alexandria. I don't trust it. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> I mean, we were following Rick's group for a while, and we've seen some pretty terrible things that's, happen to them. That's so for sure. It's yeah, hard to they trust. Yeah, through this before, and it wasn't good on either account. So yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe Where? third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> third or not? Or not. <laughs> now, who do you have, Mom? I have Carol. And what about you, Kim? I have the cute couple. Yeah. Yay, cute. Maggie and Glenn. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I love these pillowcases. Yeah, nice. A lot of you probably remember these when a long time ago we were watching The Walking Dead with Nicole and Lee on the channel up to season seven. And yeah, we had these. And Nicole was um, obsessed with Rick's pillow. I always oh, love okay. that. So you have to <laughs> switch over and get Rick out here at some yeah. point. Yeah. But we have Michonne. Yeah. And we also have Daryl. That's right. That's right. Yeah. One of our, well, a lot of our favorites favorite. here, yeah, actually. Right. All of our favorites. That's right. <laughs> there are a lot of great characters, though. Yeah, we yeah. really do enjoy a lot That's of them. And, you know, Tara, I really like, too. I think she's cute. Oh, she's a yes. very caring person. Absolutely. She's very sweet. Yes, absolutely. And Even she tries Eugene to help is kind of uh, warming up to me. Warming up to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of like Eugene. He's kind of dorky. Yeah. And yeah, he's <laughs> yeah I mean. Keep, you know, okay. he's trying to take care of his yeah. what he's supposed to, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I like his character. Abraham is I, re I really like Abraham. I just love his sayings. He's so funny. Say his sayings, yeah. They're just so unique <laughs> and original, very original. And he's a funny guy in real life. I mean, when you watch like I don't watch a lot of like cable, but I try to sometimes. And a while back, I saw something where he was on a talk show. And he was in the audience, and he was being silly. And I was like, oh, my God, he's really hilarious. And everyone else is on stage, and he was acting like a fan. <laughs> it was really funny. What's that? Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Wow. <laughs> dinner? You brought dinner. <laughs> she was like, she's like, <laughs> Daddy. I don't know. Uncle Abraham will help you, too. I have a key. I know that's scary, like you're caged in. Let them talk to Deanna first. Who's Deanna? She knows everything you'd want to know about uh -huh. this place. Oh, no. Here is... we go. Yeah. Just Just one shot. She's a good shot. Good thing we're here. <laughs> Hello. I'm Deanna Monroe. Rick Grimes. We're about transparency here. <laughs> Dirty hand. <laughs> Can't even sit in a chair, right? Yeah, it's like, I feel very uncomfortable. What is this place? This is the start of sustainability. That's what the brochures we found say. How'd you end up here? Well, my family and I were trying to get back to Ohio so I could help my district manage the crisis. There were supplies here, and we made the best of it. You've been behind these walls this entire time. We need people who have lived out there. Because it's all about survival now. At any cost. Mm -hmm. Bringing people into a place like this now. Are you telling me not to bring your people in? Or are you already looking after this place? I've killed people. They're dead so my family, all those people out there, can be alive. We have lost people. I've done things. I exiled three men who didn't work out. These families should be able to raise their children in a safe environment. Your son, your daughter, should have a place to grow up. I am exceptionally good at reading people. If I didn't win re-election, I was going to be a professional poker player. Mm -hmm. I was a sheriff. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> <She's the biggest. laughs> I'm pointing at you. I'd call dibs on that one. It's got more curb appeal. Mm. You need anything, you call me. I don't 
literally need. We don't have phones. I, I mean, <laughs> Text me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm four houses down. They look so used to clearing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh my god. Wow, look at that <laughs> dirt. Come on. It feels so good. Uh, Hello. Oh my god, it looks so much younger already. Mm -hmm. I mean, how long has it been since he's done that? A long time. Hey. I work in the pantry. Deanna asked me to bring these over for you and your friends. I'm Jesse. Rick. <laughs> I have two boys. Ron and Sam. Electricity, showers, haircuts. I never thought I'd see those again. You're welcome to sit, Daryl. I won't bite. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. He still has the possum. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he does! Bring him more. That's so awesome. Right out in the front. <laughs> Hi, neighbors. <laughs> These are like mansions. Mm -hmm. You're just giving them away. Gee. They are huge. Mm -hmm. It's too good to be true. We'll all be staying in the same house tonight. <laughs> Did someone just come out? Look at the rope coming out of the window. Mm -hmm. I know I'd be by window too because that's yeah. what you missed it, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Always on watch. <laughs> Look at him. I've never, never seen your face like that. That's what I felt before and after. Oh, neighbors. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was under there. <laughs> you said you're a family. Absolutely amazing to me how people with completely different backgrounds and nothing in common can become that. Closing in on something for Sasha. And I'm just trying to figure Mr. Dixon out. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Chef. Like, if something were to happen. We're ready for this. All of you? All of us. Lori and me, we used to drive through neighborhoods like this. Well, here we are. He still hasn't even showered yet. Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> He's not comfortable. Like no one's around. It's all a movie set. No, no, it's you. Right. Paranoid. It's been a long time since anyone around here has seen a baby. Oh. Okay. She's gonna have to put up with some pinched cheeks. Thanks. Uh, I just, um... It's an owl. I mean, it... It will be. They just can't get the eyes right. Right, the eyes. <laughs> How different, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're almost always here after school, so you can come by any time. You go to school? Uh, it's in a garage. She's not even looking Hi. up. Mm -hmm. Enid's from outside, too. She just came a months ago. Want to play some video games? Or mm -hmm. Mikey's house mm -hmm. has a pool table, but his dad's kind of strict about it, so... It's okay. Uh, well, we can just hang out. You don't even have to talk if you don't want to. Yeah. Took Enid three weeks to say something. This is the kind of place my mom wanted for us. <laughs> Sorry you lost her. I killed her. I like it here. I like the people, but they're weak. And I don't want us to get weak too. Mm -hmm. Deanna hasn't given me a job yet. You want one? Yeah. I'm gonna take a walk. Yeah. My wife cut your hair. Aww. Welcome to Alexandria. It's so hard to just sleep. I know, oh, no, I think. I did she's laundry. So I, no, you know, I, I really it. didn't have much to offer this group, so I think I just sort of became their den mother. I'm a real people person. 
<laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, my God. Punch the clock and make the casseroles. Get to mutilize the neighbor's <laughs> no, 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 like okay. a shark. I'm going to hose you down in your sleep. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we were almost out there too long. Well, that's a lot different than Woodbury. Oh, that's the girl. Yeah. Scale the fence. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she picked that one spot. It was near and lieutenant when this shit blew in. My dad did ROTC. He didn't make it? Mm. No. Wait each other's sack a little, you know? No, I don't, but cool. Mm -hmm. well, I'm just going to be. Oh, it's fucking gone. It's oh, it's gone. gone. It's, it's gone. Who would it? Oh. Someone must have watched him do it. Yeah. You got a family of four here. Hey, Dad. No. What are you doing out here? I just got some clean clothes, but I'm not getting them dirty. <laughs> Father and son. And do it. Oh! oh crap. No! Oh, Get the guy down below! <laughs> that, that hurt. <laughs> Shit hits, we fire a flare. One group gets the other. Good system. It is. Someone's got to call the ball around here, and that someone is me. Mm. If you're on this crew, you do exactly as I say. Yeah. Oh, Son of a bitch! It's gone. Help me find it. <whistles> what are you hey, doing? Hey, it's gone. Why? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's gonna bite him. Idiot. He's gonna bite him. Yeah. Get him. Hey, I need that. Ew! Yes, this is no time to fool around. That's it. What the hell? Don't. You guys have no clue. Wow, it's so dangerous. You obey my orders out there. Oh, then we're just as screwed as your last run crew. That's right. That's right. Shut the door, too. Look at him. Yeah, try it. Wise ass. Why'd you let these people in? Because we actually know what we're doing out there. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Daryl's like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Let me at her. I want everyone to hear me, okay? Rick and his people are part of this community now. In all ways. All of you turn in your weapons, then you two come talk to me. <laughs> Daryl's like, Let me at him. I'm always looking at waiting for an opening. I'd like you to be our constable. Ah, mm -hmm. good job. Yeah. Okay, Carl, give me back my hat. <laughs> Get out. Can I borrow that? Thank you. For what? For knocking him on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he needed it. People out there are always looking for an angle. Looking to play on your weakness. That's so weird. They measure you. Yeah. I love Carol. I know. Carol's it's role. Role. That's right. If we get comfortable here, we let our guard down. This place is going to make us weak. Carl said that, but it's not going to happen. We'll make it work. If they can't make it, then we'll just take this place. Oh. Daryl's like, all right, I'm going to go shower. <laughs> now I can shower. <laughs> 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 Oh. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it was a lot better than I thought. Yeah, me too. I thought for sure. What do you think about his last words there? They're just going to, he's going to take the place. Well, he sees how, you know, how weak they are. They really are um, just taking it easy, just relying on. Um, that kid there that do runs that just oh he doesn't you know, know. Aiden Aiden yeah. yeah he's he's not fit to do it he thinks he is definitely but he's not, not. Mm -hmm. and um, yeah they definitely need this group oh, to yeah. to help definitely. this community stay af afloat so do you think that's right that Rick said that 
we're just going to take it over if, if, if it doesn't they're too work. weak. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're not bad people if they do take it over. It's not like they're going to, you know, go, you know, dictating to everybody else what yeah. to do. But what do you the, think, Mom? I don't know. It's just. I, I think take it over, but they're still going to be there. I don't, you know, it, that's if they get run over. I mean, once if um, walkers come in and stuff like that, people can't take care of themselves. I mean, yes, he's the constable now, so, you know, know that gives him a little authority. Maybe that's her just trying to boost his ego a little bit to make him, as the leader, feel better and feel more secure. Look, Daryl's not feeling, he's not feeling the love for this place. No, he can, he's, he's, yeah, he hasn't even showered. Yet. He's no. not settling he's not even going inside he's staying out there i mean yeah. he's just so he's cautious yes very cautious mm -hmm. so maybe he's just saying it because carol has reservations and daryl has reservations too about it so maybe he's just saying it for that but i think mm -hmm. um he's thinking that yeah they are weak so you know maybe taking it over in a sense, not not like what the governor did in his way, but, mm -hmm. you know, in their own way, um, keeping the community more safe would be ideal. But I think that's a while back. I mean, what's what's the head person's name? Deanna or something? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. she is, um, she seems pretty level-headed and, you know, on the mark of being truthful. So um, I think she'll be okay yeah. for a yeah, while. Yeah, because uh, the group knows how to take care of themselves. Yeah, you know, they've been, the you know, they were really watching yeah. them. You have to depend pretty... upon staying in there in the little group and have those two guys go out and check out things. But mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. lost a group last That's month, right. so That's why? Sure <laughs> why is right. Yeah, and just to, why. <laughs> just to repeat what they were saying with um, when Rick was on the couch mm -hmm. with Deanna and he was being interviewed, mm -hmm. you know, and um, he asked and he's like, you were behind these walls since the beginning. That's right. Yeah. And he so was out. Know. So you have this yeah. contrast of yes. a wild yes. survivor. Right. Yes. And she and is sitting there the on a freaking beautiful, in a beautiful house on a leather couch That's mm -hmm. that looks know. impeccable. Yeah. I mean, it, it, totally different spectrums of this apocalypse you know and she found this beautiful place you know the government brought them in right. you know she's you know um someone of you know political stature so she yeah. got yeah so she got you know this great place to stay yes it looks like she lost her husband and at least one son but um you know she doesn't she has no clue no, she needs them more than they need her Really, mm -hmm. that's right. They they might have a beautiful house and stuff, but they need this group. They don't have to survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. So just to ask you, Mom, um, do you feel more comfortable with Alexandria now, or are you still suspicious just of the people there in general? I'm still suspicious. Something's gonna something's gonna happen. They seem like they're good. <laughs> yeah, but do you so tell? Cool. No. It's I know it's hard to tell. Really but the people so tell. far, like that you've met. I mean, there's some that we were kind of iffy about, but yeah, overall. Yeah, some of the people are mm -hmm. okay, but I don't know. It's still iffy. I know. Mm -hmm. You don't know if it's not, it looks know. like um, just yeah. like a, a movie set or something. It and looks so right. perfect. Yeah, it it's does. Right? It's so clean. It's like a, it's right, like yeah. a movie set, really. Even the empty right. houses. Yeah. Like, I know they're expecting I people to move say. in there, but they look so spotless. And I'm like, who's going in there and maintaining all right. of this? Like, right. job is Everyone bad. gets a job, but, you know, the yeah. house clean and to have impeccable lawns except for that one bush they gotta get that one bush <laughs> that's God. wrong you're fired I'm a get that out of there yeah no, yeah. But, um, yeah I think um, it's it's very too. cautious and our group they're staying together and now Rick is saying well maybe we can yeah, feel more can. free and you know be in our own houses but that's so normal for them to be together and to be suspicious and oh, look sure. out the window and do watches you have and, to be after all yeah, that they and, went through um, Mm -hmm. Jeez, you know. And the key is looking at Daryl. Daryl is not comfortable. Know, he's, yes, he's very <laughs> suspicious. Yes. And it was so cute with his interaction with Carol. Yeah. With her, <laughs> how she her, her role playing. Oh yeah. yes, I'm a people person. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she's so a doll, you know. But yeah. it's just so yeah. funny to see her yeah. just smiling, and yeah, she right. she's just playing the part. Oh sure. Mm -hmm. She's just playing the part. Yes, she, is. Yeah. she knows what she has to do to fit in the community, so she can listen to people and get their real that's feeling. Right, yeah. You know, she's she's playing she's role playing right now. 
Yeah, I'm and a survivor. She, she said, exactly, she was, you know. exactly. And especially yeah. when she was talking about her her former husband, it was like, oh, oh yeah, she I loved him so much. Yeah. 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 I, I just love doing was, things for yeah. him. Yes, and <laughs> she never smiles that much. Never. never. Was so that was like right. so good to us because we know her. <laughs> and I'm like, wait. <laughs> but even in the beginning, I took it this way when um, she was putting her gun down. Did you see how clumsy she was oh, trying yeah. to get it off her? And then she's like, oh. You know, so I think she's playing a little ditzy or a little like she's not used to holding a lethal weapon, but she has to because everyone else has one. Yeah, she was taught to do that or something, but she doesn't uh, know. Yeah, so that was funny because she's like, oh, (laughs) and then she was like over smiling and blinking, and yeah, like that was that was great. But I like how um, everyone handled it so different coming into this community and she just immediately went into the super happy do you have a league or something yes. like she's asking yeah. for something that's completely not even um practical like oh i can cook i can cook for you or something like that you know or she mentioned laundry and here she's like oh elite this would be that clueless you know i, I think that was perfect for her to be like that so that way they're not like oh yeah yeah she's yes. weak and very trustworthy oh, yeah. you know? yes. and what's going on with that young girl climbing the fence I know. Yeah, she's Edith. Going, yeah. She's very used to um, going out there. She just came in from the outside, yeah, right. yeah, you know, did. just a few months. So, and she didn't talk yeah. the first few weeks or something mm-hmm. there. So she you know, has something going on. Maybe she's going to her old camp or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And Carl followed her. Yeah, because he's like, yeah. oh, you know, she's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> Where are you going? You know, because she's not of the norm, you know. Yeah, she's right. not, like, she's not fitting into society right now where she still feels uncomfortable probably as well. So he's mm-hmm. like, you know, she's, he's, she's probably someone that I can communicate to yeah. faster, like a true conversation with someone. You know? Yeah, like um, they have like a, a connection in some yeah. way or, you mm-hmm. know, because they both tried or had to survive out in the wild. Definitely. Pretty much, mm-hmm. and Daryl got his beard taken off, and he's clean shaven. Oh, Rick! I mean, Rick. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, and Rick did. Yeah. And uh, he looks so different. Yeah, Does he look yeah, great? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm like that lady I knew Jessie what he looked like, like haircut, but, and I'm like, oh, there might be a little spark there. But yeah. she's married. Oh, mm-hmm. that's right, she is. But so she was just being friendly because yeah. she knew that he had a son. And, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I like how the community is very welcoming to everyone. I mean, they have to be. They knew people were coming in, and yeah. in order to grow, they need to be accepting. But some do seem pretty genuine, mm-hmm. and she seemed pretty nice to come in and be like, oh, my kids want to meet yours, and yeah. you know, can we do yes. that at some point? And um, having the older couple there, you know, a few that houses was very down, sweet. Yes. Was never yes. seen a baby in so or haven't seen yeah. the baby in so long. They all could be actors, though. (laughs) Just make it. Just make it. (laughs) That's the hard part, and you don't know what you would do. And I think I would be. I mean, if I was with Rick's group, I think I'd be looking out that window. I wouldn't be able to sleep. Every little noise I heard, I'd worry. Mm -hmm. Be like, okay, right. What's happened to them in the past? Yeah, right. you gotta right. have your guard up, yeah. and <laughs> especially when the possum came out, and everyone's like, <laughs> and he still so had it the whole time. Like, how no, long were those interviews? I think he was the second person, but still, <laughs> it's like Rick and Morton already said it, like yeah. you said, and I was like, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> and you know, um, him pacing around was funny because yes. it reminded me of like, um, uh, like some kind of wild predator like some kind of not that he's like not trying to say it in he's a bad way but uneasy. yeah he's pacing around a lot like he can't just sit still he's yeah. um he's uncomfortable yeah. in Very a small spot or something yeah. so him on camera <clears throat> pacing and then when he was angry when um Aiden was fighting Glenn oh I love that moment I'm sorry really quick yeah. I love that moment when Aiden threw a punch and Glenn I, I was like it. Glenn can yeah. murder you these people are so beyond <laughs> you guys and how Glenn's the mature one and he's like he's like step down or back off or something yeah, sure, yeah. or whatever he said that was awesome and and he, he wasn't gonna fight him and then Aiden was just too cocky and he swung and then he, he just like, thinks he's so Glenn just completely yes. dodged it and then punched him oh, so it fast was, it was, it was perfect. Perfect. Yeah. swift it was clean oh, was it was yeah 
beautiful. And then I'm full with Glenn. Yes, that was awesome. Like to see how far everyone's come and just yeah, see, to see Glenn see like that Darryl, was so cool. Daryl's just fired up. Yeah, he's like, you punch Mom. everyone in my family, I'll just kill you. I'm just <laughs> ready to kill one of you guys. And <laughs> see, <laughs> so he was pacing there too. So he's almost like a caged animal in a way. Yeah. Like I just, yeah, I just took it like that where yeah. he doesn't belong here, and I felt bad, you know, mm-hmm. seeing him like kind of isolating himself a lot and not showering and stuff. Although yeah. that is gross, but I get it. Like. Yeah, you know, well, he's, he's just kind comfortable of, uh, being out there. Protesting in a way, you know. He's, yes. he's not, um, he's going with the flow with the rest of the family, but he's not happy with it yet. No, he's not. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just not. No, ready. I don't blame him. Something, something's there. <laughs> yeah, so he just doesn't want to, mm-hmm. like, get comfortable, and maybe that's, like, his point mm-hmm. or something. And um, so people are adapting in different ways, you know, figuring it out in their own way. But. I do love how they stay like a family unit. They stay close together mm-hmm. all the yeah. time, sleeping mm-hmm. together, like mm-hmm. taking shifts, um, and then always talking amongst each other on what to do next. Yeah, mm-hmm. watching out for each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they can't have a full night's sleep yet either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Michonne and Rick were both like that. They kept yes. waking up and talking yes. and being like, all right. You know, um, I like how Michonne <laughs> really wants this place to work. And Rick kind of does. does, you know. She does. She, yeah. They do need a break. And I think this is, you know, it was their breaking point. This this came yeah, at a perfect yeah, time definitely. in their lives. So, um, you know, it was it was great. You know, even if it's just for a month, you know, just to get you showered. Know, yeah, yeah, just to shower. We're gonna steal all your provisions. <laughs> <laughs> Take everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, just just to just reset mm-hmm. and then go back out. You know, oh, wow. I think even that would be good, but. Um, yeah, I mean, what he said, you know, at the end when Rick said, you know, well, you know, if not, we'll just take this place over. I can see that, but um, I think it's just if, you know, if it really hits the fan, you know, they're really weak people. I mean, they're they're mm-hmm. people going out on runs are weak, so mm-hmm. sure. uh, it's not good. I think I'm more worried about people out there coming in. Mm-hmm. They can take over that no problem. Like he's like you're keeping the door the doors open the gates are open like you gotta shut them more you know what yeah. i mean yeah. even when they were having a fight the the gate was wide open yeah mm-hmm. i love the scene where rick when sasha takes out that walker and then rick is like good thing we're here and he's so <laughs> cocky and like yeah <laughs> I, just, I love that scene that's great but the ending i love that ending because it really just makes you think because we know rick we know what they're about um, nothing's perfect on their choices, you know, but mm-hmm. they, they try to do the right thing to protect their family. And I really like mm-hmm. their group. Mm-hmm. So them taking over this community, if they have to, I agree with Rick, and I think um, that should happen. Um, but at the same time, it um, contradicts what happened to them in the past, like with the prison, when they found the prisoners, right. and then the prisoners tried to fight them, and they were like, well, we have this place first, you know, and then Rick's like, well, we took it, we took it, we we g- killed the yes. walkers around, and we, we mm-hmm. earned this place because we made it what it is now, and they didn't make Alexandria what it is now, right. so are mm-hmm. they going to be just tyrants? I mean, I know they're not going to kill anyone, but are they going to, like, yeah. just say, well, we're just going to do this and that's it. that is what it is and who's going to oppose them and if they do what's going to happen to them you know are they yeah, just going to be right. imprisoned you know yeah. so it's the same kind of like holy crap like they're yeah. just mm-hmm. making choices for everyone right like that's they're just going to take over right. so that's kind of like alarming too Jesus, but yeah. yes, i do <laughs> i do think rick and his group would definitely be better with that place yeah, it'd be <laughs> beneficial yeah, yeah. but De- uh, deanna in this episode again i'm just living in the moment um because they haven't seen you know, past this point, mm-hmm. but um, I think she trying to gain Rick's trust, she's doing it in a good way, like how she's like, oh, well, you can be the sheriff, um, we need more people like you to learn how to survive. It sounds honest, you know, it sounds like she knows that her people don't know Yeah, anything. it does, yeah, definitely, it yeah. does, and she can read him, like she was saying, you know, I was going to be a professional poker player, you know, she can <laughs> read people, she thinks she can read people, and she was even thanking Glenn for, you know, kicking her son's ass because mm-hmm. she knows he is weak. She knows that mm-hmm. she, but she's also letting them feed into, you know, her, her feeling that she does need them. So they feel better staying there. Like mm-hmm. our group feels better staying there. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you know, thanking them and letting, giving them these little, these jobs that are meaningful, but jobs mm-hmm. that, you know, 
she has to really think about certain people. Like, what what job is she going to give Daryl now? And mm-hmm. you know, she's right, yeah. she wants to because that's a that's a person that really you got to give them the right job. Yeah, you know, that's because right. then they'll feel comfortable. Right now, she's not she's probably truly not feeling comfortable with Daryl. Mm-hmm. So she doesn't know how he's going to um, fit into their community. Yeah. But she doesn't want to, you know, rattle the cage, so to yeah. speak, you know. She wants yeah, to do it's kind of hard a, a to delegate job. and yeah. figure out how sure, to yeah. balance or, you but know. But she, did, she did well, you know, figuring out Rick's and Michonne's. So that was good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone in this group is strong, but, like, the leaders of this group are pretty much, um, like, who do you think? Like, I, I definitely Rick, I think Michonne, I think Daryl. Who else do you think? I I mean, I, I know yeah, definitely Rick Glenn, and Michonne I see as the main leaders, Glenn and I see Daryl. Glenn. I think they're going to start listing everyone all again. Yeah, but yeah, all the yeah, I mean, all even Tara. Yeah. yeah. Tara, Tara was I mean, they're all really that good, guy. strong yeah. individuals yeah. on their they own. Are. But yeah. I think Rick and Michonne Rick and Daryl are, like, Darryl, the main people. Darryl, and then yeah, Carol, too. Like, Glenn, I think they're, like, the biggest leaders of this group. Yeah. You know, and, and even Abraham's just going with else. the flow. And Glenn's he's not, yeah. Abraham's not doing anything. He's just like, I'm going with the flow, you know? That's right. Yeah. He's yeah. not making yes. any waves. He's yeah, not yet. Yeah. 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 You know, um, yeah, so we've been pretty much just focused on them mm-hmm. anyways. You're right. So, like, with Michonne, Rick, um, Carol's just acting innocent, so they're not yeah, really worried about her anyways. Right. She's... Um, she is <laughs> optimistic. She's cautiously optimistic, That's I think. Right. And she's just role-playing just to do the wow surprise factor if something does hit That's the fan. Right. She's mm-hmm. like, I can I can kill you with anything in this room. I'm just going to grab the pin. My shoelace. <laughs> my sugar ball. Right. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of contrast this episode That's alone. Sure. Just seeing how... Um, uncomfortable they were just being in a normal house like even trying ki- to sit down oh carla was very uncomfortable with kids his own oh, age she's right. like yeah. yeah you know what i mean he yeah just that's didn't... that's hard yeah, i mean yeah. but that's not who they are anymore not right. even like that's he was right. so young school. he's like school you know okay. so i mean they have a lot to take yeah, in you know sure. it's going to take a long time to get them settled and yeah. you know feel comfortable but they can't they can't feel comfortable all the time because they have to, you know, yeah, keep their guard are. up a little yeah. bit. That that's I a don't. yeah, that's a right? good debate right there because like I agree with that's Carl and point. even Carol said that where they're like, you know, if we stay here we're gonna get weak. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Rick said at the end something like Well, it's already ingrained in us, so I don't think we could ever get weak again. We've been through too much. Well, but still relaxed. I think you can't let your guard down enough. Oh, she would get relaxed. And it was she good that he go. went out to go get that gun that wasn't there. Yeah, yeah so right. where'd that go? And yeah. they fought those walkers with their knives and they were like, Yeah. Yeah, you know, bonding is, <laughs> father son right. time. Yeah, this we is have to is. do this every once in a while. This is this is this we have to is. get our bearings back. You know, we have to um, really. There is threat out there. There is. A this is not a reality. Yeah, this right. community is not a reality. I mean, you go outside. That's reality. Mm-hmm. They're just yeah. you know, but for them to live like that for so long throughout the the whole virus. I mean, mm. this is crazy that they survived this long. Yeah, yeah for, sure. for sure. And yeah. um, we don't know much about the community at all yet, but like the yeah. first thing I was thinking too is here you have these walls. That's great. Do you have people who, um, you know, are outside the wall, like checking a perimeter, you know, yeah, like going right. around? Like I would be doing that because you never know who's like checking out your walls and that's what i'm fearful for is people outside yeah Yeah. like i'd be terrified about what about noah's property noah's um neighborhood you know with those people you know cut in half i mean yeah that's that's true it's far away but i mean still you have people out there that are a threat so Mm mm-hmm yeah, so welcome mm-hmm. to Alexandria. <laughs> yeah, well, it's better than episode. I thought so far. Yeah, me yeah you yeah. never know. Yeah. I don't blame you. I'm like I'm like that too. Oh, and <laughs> once we're all blind to this yeah, again I'm in like season seven, yeah. we'll be like, ah, all crazy together. But <laughs> yeah. until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you subscribe. very soon, as always. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.